Hello, my name is Will Carrara, and I am the lead backend developer for OpenET's API. In today's video, we're going to be demystifying the OpenET API's quota system. Heading over to the documentation, under additional resources, you can select the quota section. Here, the most important thing to note is that these values are not final. And so we've been working on op adding to the different available tiers. At the time of launch and recording this video, we will be launching with a free tier and each tier is going to be broken up into different uh, sections. The first is the global section. So this will affect all queries. So at the time of recording this, all monthly queries are limited to just 100. So you'll be able to make 100 different queries per month. And then each individual query can have a maximum acreage of 50,000 acres. For raster-based endpoints, there's going to be a maximum poly polygon count of 50. So when you have a shape file and you're using the multi-polygon endpoint, you can have no more than 50 uh, different uh, features within that shape file. The export EECU seconds is just a way that we measure some of the Earth Engine usage from every export that you make. If you have your Earth Engine account linked, then this one doesn't really matter for you because you're going to be using your own Earth Engine resources and queue. Encryption is going to be the option to encrypt files that are exported. And then Earth Engine linking is going to be the option to uh, just be able to link your account automatically. It might say disabled here, but we plan to re-enable this uh, on launch. The geo database only has a single limiter, which is the number of field IDs per query. So every different query can have a maximum of 100 different field IDs within that. So if you head over to your account, and I can click the account button, and it'll take you to account.etdata.org. All I have to do is just sign in with Google. This is where the different endpoints, or sorry, this is where you'll be able to, in the future, upgrade your quota. So under here, there'll be the billing section and plans, and you'll be able to see the different plans that we'll have available in the future. Again, these are all under construction, so the values here are not final, but you'll be able to click switch plan. And then under this, you'll be able to manage both your subscriptions and invoices. Lastly, let's head over to the Swagger interface just to quickly show you the account status endpoint. Now, if you want to check what quota you have remaining, this is a handy endpoint to do so. So here you'll be able to see the number of monthly requests that you've used, in this case, 16 out of 100, the export EECU seconds you've used, and then the rest of the parameters that are linked to your account. So you can query this, it won't increase the query count. So if I redo this, you'll still see 16 out of 100. And this is just a quick way to check you know, what your account is running. This has been Demystifying the Quota, and I'll see you in the next one.